When you need to insert special characters, symbols or accented characters or alternate glyphs, you use the glyphs panel, which you'll find on window type and tables glyphs. This is the glyphs panel. I'm not going to spend a lot of time teaching you how to use it because you probably already know. What you may not know is that you can save your frequently used glyphs and recall them easily. You can also, and I'm going to show you this as a tip, filter the glyphs panel so that it only shows you exactly what you need. Here, I need some symbols. So I'm going to choose from the show menu. I'm going to go down from entire font to symbols. And there is copyright. I'm going to hit that. And there is my trademark and the pound sterling and the euro. And I'm just double clicking these to insert them. And then I need one other symbol. So let's go to Greek and we'll add Well, I need an unaccented omega, but we'll just add that for now. Let's say I use these frequently. Let's say I use the copyright, the trademark, the pound sterling, the euro, and the omega accented frequently. You can see that recently used glyphs show up up here in the recently used list, which is kind of convenient. So if I need to get back to, say, the copyright, I don't have to scroll around and try and find that right symbol again. I just double-click it from there. Same thing with trademark, pound sterling, euro, and the omega. But let's say I use those a lot in my work. As I start working with other glyphs, they're going to get pushed along the recently used. You can widen the glyphs panel and make a wider recently used list. And it'll keep going for a while and get to ones that you've used previously. Maybe I need that arrow. You can also choose new glyph set. Give it a name. Click OK. And now we have a new set of glyphs that we can load up and choose view. And here's my frequently used symbols. And it shows me they're all empty. It also shows up in this list at the top. So recent glyphs shows me down the bottom this same list. Or the subsets for the current font. Or at the very top, my user defined glyph sets. So then I can take these, right click, and choose add to glyph set frequently used symbols. And I'm just going through each of these commonly used symbols that I have and adding them to the set. And it's telling me, oh, that's already in the set. Excellent. So I'm good now. Now I can change to entire font and do whatever I have to there. And, and you can see that the recently used glyphs are scrolling along and pushing out my frequently used ones, but I can go back to here and reload my custom glyph set. And that gives me quick access to the symbols that I use frequently. You can create a number of glyph sets. You can create ones that are a set of bullets, a set of florons and decorative elements, ones that are the Greek letters that you use, ones that are accented Cyrillic, whatever you want. Create as many glyph sets as you want, and you can add and delete from them whenever you want. You can also delete the glyph sets just by choosing them from here. You can share these glyph sets, which is a topic for another video. Glyph sets gives you access to your frequently used glyphs, whatever they may be.